Princess Bright Star, and the journey to Light Hearts. Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom aglow with the sparkle of a crystal castle, lived Princess Bright Star. At the tender age of seven, her black hair flowed down like a sunlit waterfall, and her laughter, oh, it chimed like the sweetest bells. This young princess, glowing with soft skin and sparkling brown eyes, wore a dress that glittered with every colour of the rainbow. The kingdom, surrounded by whispering woods, was a place where laughter filled the air and flowers bloomed with just a gentle touch from our young princess. But Princess Brightstar had a little secret, a problem that made her heart feel heavy. Despite her magical skills, sharing with others didn't come easily. It was as if her toys and treasures had invisible strings tied to her heart, making it tough to let them go. She knew deep down, sharing makes play more fun for everyone, but the words felt as distant as the stars. Enter Sir Fluffington, a brave talking bunny with sky blue eyes and a fluffy white coat. Wearing his tiny smart cape, he hopped to Princess Brightstar's side, ready to help. You know, Princess, he said with a twitch of his pink nose, many others feel just like you do, but together we can learn to share and find joy in it. The key to a new path. Princess Brightstar sighed. If only I could be like Lily, who learned to share and now plays so happily with everyone. It must be possible for me too, she thought. She longed to play the great garden game with her friends, but the fear of having to share her favourite toys made her stay away, leaving her feeling lonely and sad. Deep inside, she knew she could learn to share and cooperate. I can make flowers bloom with ease, so why is sharing so hard? She pondered in her heart. One sunny day, as Princess Brightstar and Sir Fluffington played hide-and-seek in the royal gardens, they stumbled upon a small, shiny key with a heart-shaped handle that glowed softly. Why did the key go to school? Sir Fluffington quipped. To learn to open up. They laughed together, their hearts light. The key held a cryptic message, revealed as the sunlight hit its surface. In whispering woods, the heart of sharing awaits for those brave enough to seek it. Another twist of the key showed Find the heart and stop the shadows of selfishness from darkening the land. I think it means we have a quest, Sir Fluffington, Princess Brightstar decoded, her voice tinged with hope. As they prepared for their journey, Princess Brightstar felt a whisper in her heart. This journey might just teach me how to share and bring joy not only to me, but to the whole kingdom, she thought. Adventures in Whispering Woods their journey began with a song, their voices mingling in the air. Through the woods and over streams, together we chase our dreams, sharing hearts and spreading light, turning darkness into bright. Their bond grew stronger with each step, their hopes entwined. We're in this together, Princess, Sir Fluffington cheered. Yes, we are, and we'll learn to share, not just our things, but our hearts too, Princess Brightstar replied, her heart swelling with courage. Reflecting on her challenge, she thought, Can I really learn to share? But I must try, for the sake of all my friends and the kingdom. Though worried her difficulty in sharing might surface during their quest, she decided, I'll face it, no matter what. As they reached a fork in the road, unsure of which path to take, the key in Princess Brightstar's pocket began to glow, illuminating the left path with a soft, kind light, guiding them towards their first destination in the Whispering Woods. And so, with hearts full of hope and the key shining as their guide, Princess Brightstar and Sir Fluffington stepped into the adventure, ready to unlock the heart of sharing and light up their world with kindness and joy. Lessons of the Heart as Princess Brightstar and Sir Fluffington stepped into the Whispering Woods, the air seemed to hum with magic. Each step they took 
the leaves rustled as if whispering secrets, and the key in Princess Brightstar's pocket shone even brighter, like a little star guiding their way. Their first encounter began as they reached a clearing where the sun danced through the trees, creating patterns of light and shadow. In the center stood a magnificent tree, its branches heavy with golden fruit. Look, Sir Fluffington! Princess Brightstar exclaimed, her eyes wide with wonder. Just then, a tiny, playful pixie with wings that sparkled like dewdrops in the morning sun appeared. I'm Pixie Prickle, she giggled, and this is the sharing tree. Its fruit can only be picked by those who truly understand sharing. Princess Brightstar reached out, but the fruit seemed to dance just out of reach. How can I pick the fruit? she asked, puzzled. Pixie Prickle floated closer, her voice a gentle whisper. You must promise to share the fruit with someone who needs it more than you. Princess Brightstar thought of her friends back at the castle, how they would smile at the taste of such magical fruit. I promise, she said, her voice firm with resolve. With her promise made, a golden fruit gently fell into her hands, warm and glowing. She looked at Sir Fluffington, his blue eyes sparkling with pride. Sharing feels good, doesn't it? He said, a smile spreading across his fluffy face. Yes, it does, Princess Brightstar replied, her heart feeling lighter. They left the clearing, the key glowing even brighter, leading them to their next adventure. Their journey continued, the woods whispering encouragement. They came upon a stream that sparkled with colours, unseen before. Here, they met Marina, the mermaid, with scales that glinted like precious stones under the water's surface. To cross my river, Marina sang, you must share something precious with the water. Princess Brightstar thought hard, then, taking off her rainbow glittering dress, she dipped it into the water. The stream accepted her gift, parting to reveal a path of stepping stones. Sharing opens new paths, Marina called as they crossed. Princess Brightstar felt a warmth in her heart understanding more deeply the joy of giving. Their next encounter was in a grove lit by fireflies where they met a wise old owl named Ollie. To pass, Ollie hooted, you must share a story that teaches a lesson of kindness. Princess Brightstar shared a tale of a time she helped a lost fawn find its way back to its mother, her voice soft and melodious. The owl nodded, pleased and the fireflies danced, forming a path through the grove. Your story warms the heart and lights the way, Ollie praised. Feeling encouraged, they ventured deeper into the woods, where the final encounter awaited them. The air grew colder, and shadows lengthened as they approached a darkened glade. There, Master Greedly emerged, his eyes gleaming with malice. You cannot defeat me. Greedly sneered, for I am the master of keeping, not sharing. Princess Brightstar felt fear creeping into her heart, but she remembered her journey, the joy of sharing, and the warmth it brought. She stepped forward, her voice steady. Greedly, you too can learn the joy of sharing. It brings light, even to the darkest places. Greedly laughed a sound that echoed coldly. But then, something unexpected happened. The key glowed with an intense light, illuminating the glade and revealing hidden treasures all around, treasures Greedly had hoarded over the years. Share these with the kingdom, Princess Brightstar urged, and see how much brighter your world becomes. To everyone's surprise, Master Greedly's hard expression softened. I... I never thought of that, he murmured, a flicker of warmth in his cold eyes. As Greedly agreed to share his treasures, the key transformed back into its original form, its glow soft and warm. The shadows retreated, and the glade filled with light and laughter. Princess Brightstar had not only found the heart of sharing, but had also taught Greedly the joy it could bring. With their quest complete, 
a magical portal appeared, wreathed in gentle light. It's time to return, princess, Sir Fluffington said, his voice tinged with excitement. Stepping through the portal, they found themselves back in the royal gardens, their hearts full of joy and their spirits lifted by the adventures they had shared. Princess Brightstar looked at her friends waiting for her, ready to share not just the magical fruit, but also the lessons she had learned. I've learned that sharing makes everything brighter, she declared, her voice ringing with truth, and together we can create a kingdom filled with light and joy. As they shared the golden fruit, laughter and happiness filled the air, and Princess Brightstar knew that the true magic lay in the hearts of those who shared. And so, with hearts united and spirits high, they celebrated the joy of giving, knowing that together they could overcome anything. A legacy of light and sharing. As Princess Brightstar and Sir Fluffington made their way back to the Crystal Castle, the air filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers, a sign of their triumphant return. The kingdom seemed to sparkle even brighter, as if welcoming them home with open arms. The towering gates of the castle swung open, revealing the faces of their friends, all eager to hear of their adventures. We did it, Sir Fluffington. We learned the true heart of sharing, Princess Brightstar thought, her heart bubbling with joy. Sharing makes play more fun for everyone. I am generous and kind, and sharing creates good friendships, she reminded herself positive words from her journey echoing in her mind. But even heroes have moments of doubt. There were times when Princess Brightstar felt the old tug, the whisper of wanting to keep things just for herself. But no, she would think. Sharing makes me happy. I love seeing my friends smile because of me. And just like that, the doubt would vanish, replaced by the warmth of her newfound understanding. The true test came during the Great Garden Game a festival of fun and friendship. As the children gathered, Princess Brightstar hesitated for just a moment, clutching her favorite toy. Then, remembering her adventure, she smiled and held it out to her friend. Here, you can play with it first, she said, her voice clear and kind. The joy in her friend's eyes was all the reward Princess Brightstar needed. They played and laughed, sharing toys and stories, the air filled with the magic of friendship. Sir Fluffington hopped by her side, his blue eyes shining with pride. As days turned into weeks, Princess Brightstar found new happiness in sharing and cooperating. She and Sir Fluffington would often reminisce about their quest, their voices mingling with the laughter of their friends. One sunny afternoon, a young girl from a neighboring kingdom visited her eyes wide with the same fear Princess Brightstar once knew. Taking the girl's hand, Princess Brightstar shared her story. Sharing makes play more fun for everyone, and it makes you feel happy inside, she said, passing on the wisdom of her journey. The girl's smile as she joined the game was a sight to behold. Princess Brightstar knew then that her adventure had changed not just her life, but the lives of others too. Years passed, and Princess Brightstar grew into a wise and beloved queen. She built bridges, not just of stone, but of hearts, teaching her kingdom the value of sharing and kindness. Sir Fluffington, ever by her side, became a legend in his own right, a symbol of courage and friendship. In the quiet moments, Princess Brightstar would look out over her kingdom her heart full. I once struggled to share, but I learned that together we are stronger. Sharing truly is a superpower, she thought, positive words of her youth now a deep, unshakable belief. And so, with a kingdom united in friendship and joy, Queen Brightstar and Sir Fluffington lived out their days, their legacy, a testament to the power of sharing and cooperation, inspiring generations to come.